Cool. All right. Well, let's let's find find our position on the mat. Good. Good. Toes forward. Feeling the floor through the feet. That's a really good place to start. Just being aware aware of the forces down through the floor and then the responding forces, I suppose, up through the floor. Hands onto your hips, drop through the shoulders. Good, scoop and tuck the bottom under. Feel this part engage. Feel yourself just close down a little bit. The ribs stay where they are and then you try to lift a little from the front of the pelvis and that engages those abdominals there to get started. Good, and taking the weight side to side. While you're doing this, checking that you've got the rest of your body in a good position, let's start from the top down. Tucking the chin, lengthening up through the back of the head, broadening out through the chest, pulling the shoulders back essentially. Feeling a little bit of action between the shoulder blades, pulling them together. We've already talked about this part, drawing in, tucking under gently, feeling one glute squeeze and then Brilliant. All right, then bring the feet a little bit narrower, pick up one heel, swap in the air, and let's go a little bit faster with this one, with that talk about warming up. <laughs> Good, pushing one heel down at a time, still trying to control it. Just notice the difference between what we normally do, this more controlled movement, adding that little bit more tempo, but trying to keep Keep the strength and the stability going as you're doing it. Nice. All right, and then two feet coming up onto your toes, warming up the ankles. Good. Again, with that little bit of extra tempo, lift and down, lift and down, a little bit of power drawing up. Good. I'm going to take this top layer off because I can see I'm actually... Um, disappearing into the TV behind me <laughs> with the black. <laughs> Don't feel quite ready to take a layer off yet, but anyway, as long as you can see what's going on. <laughs> Good. And then some squats, using the arms, swing the arms forward. So again, adding that little bit of tempo there, sticking the bottom backwards, bringing the arms up in front. Think about when you come up, you're not only straightening the knees, but you're pushing the hips forward. Not past the midline though, just upright. Good. A couple more. Let's step the feet wide, toes out, knees out, up tall, down and up. Good. Unlike the ones we've just done, we're trying to stay upright with these. Keep your eye line upright, keep your chest open at the tall, and knees are pushing that way. Good. Let's warm up the lower back a little bit. Stretch your arms out to the side. I want you to come down and across. You know how far you can go. For me, that felt a bit sticky, so I'm just gonna ease into it. No expectation to touch the floor. <laughs> I'm just tapping down on the shin. We do generally feel a bit nervous about bending and twisting, don't we, because of low backs, but it's a movement that your low back should be able to do. So within this controlled setting, this bend and twist is all right. It's expected, we're not lifting anything as well other than the rest of our body. <laughs> Good, trying to keep the legs straight. One more each side. Good, and stop there. All right, let's step the feet in. Lovely. Palms facing forward, so by the sides of your body there, palms facing forwards, bring them up to the side. Let's reset. Tuck the chin, lengthen the back of the neck, pull the shoulder blades together at the back, soften the knees, tuck the bottom under, and we're just pulsing gently forwards and backwards. Good. These kind of exercises always make me want to take a nice deep breath with them. I think it's something to do with doing hundreds when you lie on your back. So it's quite nice to inhale for five, 
exhale for five. Five pulses, that is. Brilliant. Turn the palms to face down and pulse up and down. Good. Stop there. From there, I'd like you to bring that right arm up and tuck it down behind your head and left arm reaching up. Can you meet them? <laughs> and then stretch again to the side and go the other way. If you get a chance, just check the difference between mine. I've got quite a gap that way and then I go the other way and the fingers meet. And that's all to do with being right-handed or left-handed. So your right arm tends to be a bit stiffer, especially reaching up your back. Good. So I'll just warm up those shoulders. Good, one more. I think that equals us off there. Brilliant. And bring the arms down. Settle them back onto your hips again heels together. We went back to this one on the last session and I quite enjoyed it. Bend both knees, tuck the bottom under. We're still very upright. You should feel your bum clench a little bit there with the toes out and the knees bent. Point the toe out to 45 degrees and then lift that leg off the floor. Good. The leg should feel heavy and you should feel it all happening in this hip there, especially if the knees locked straight. Soften the standing leg, bending the knee into it. Rotate the knee outwards on the standing leg and lift up the arch on the standing leg. And draw in your tummy, of course. That's where the, that's your control center, isn't it? <laughs> Good, now just the ankle point and flex. Make the most of that movement as well. That's a nice stretch up the leg when you pull the toes up. It stretches and pulls up the back of the leg. Lovely, come in, stay down. Stretch the other leg out. Clock that 45 degrees there. Good, before you pick up that left leg, lift up the arch on the standing leg, rotate the knee out, make sure your glutes are engaged and then lift. Lock the knee straight. a common mistake to bend that knee as you pull up off the floor so I think you've got to really cautiously oh, consciously think about squeezing through your quad on that side keep working on that balance <laughs> and then just the ankle points and flex feeling the stretch as you pull your toes up feel the stretch up the back of the leg but also of course everything that's going on around Three, two, one. Bring that leg in and give the legs just a little shake there. Have a quick drink. Good stuff. All right, I would like to do some split squats because I'm trying not to be too aware of the fact that my quads are really sore today after training. Um, but I need to offer you at least to do the split squats even though it's painful for me. So, do as I say, not as I do, because I'm probably going to do this terribly. You're up on your back toe, both feet pointing forwards, back knee heading straight down towards the floor. One, let's go. Two, up tall. Three, four, pull up through the heel on each one. Five, six, seven, eight, Nine, good, 10, lovely. Swap legs, step back with the other one, pull up tall on that foot, tuck under a little, everything pointing forwards. Back knee heading straight down towards the floor. Off we go, one, two, three, four, Five. And as you can see, you don't need that back knee to go all the way to the floor on these exercises. I don't think it's physical possible for me today. <laughs> Two more. Ten. 
Lovely. Come mm. back in. Give your legs a little shake. Great stuff. Last thing to do in standing, we usually do our RDLs, which is Romanian deadlifts, which are, we usually do our single legs. I just want to do some double leg ones of these today. Um, and it really kind of ingrains in you the process and the positions to get into. When we do our single leg ones, quite often people are tempted to kind of lean forwards like that, but there really has to be that push of the hips backwards, and we can do that nicely with two legs. So you can turn to the side or face forwards, whichever works for you. I'm just demonstrating. So we're sliding the hands down towards the knees there. The hips are coming backwards. I want to see that arch almost in the lower back there. We're not curling and bending that way. We're really sticking out the chest, opening out the chest and arching through the back as we push the hips backwards. And you want to, you can get started now after my demonstration. You want to push the hips back and then come up tall. The hips go backwards, the weight goes on the heels and you pull up tall. Your toes will feel like they want to lift off the floor if you're doing it right. You can have your hands on your hips which guide them backwards and then up tall. Good. And you feel that stretch down through the backs of the legs, through the hamstrings as you do that. If you were weightlifting, you would have a weight in your hands there, coming down and back up. <sighs> Take some nice deep breaths as you go. And the knees stay straight, of course. The knees stay locked straight. Good. Three more. It's actually quite a nice way to loosen through the backs of the legs there. It strengthens them too, but it loosens as I'm sure you felt going forwards and backwards a few times there. Lovely. All right, so coming to the end of your mat. Hands on the fronts of your thighs there, tops of the fronts of your thighs, because I want them to slide down the front as we curl down. Take a breath in, breathe out, <sighs> sliding your fingertips down all the way. Make a note of where they go. Are your fingertips on the floor? Are they touching mid-shin? Are you just at your knees? <laughs> Doesn't matter, that's just um, as far as you can go personally and try and beat that at the end when we do the stretch at the end. Good. Bend and straighten each knee, just nice and softly doing that, feeling that jiggling, getting you down a little bit further. Good work. Bending your knees as usual, feel that stretch as well. So sitting down into your heels a little bit, making sure that you can stretch through your knees enough to get into this position. Good. And then coming forwards onto hands and knees. Good work. All right. I'd like us first of all to stretch that right leg back and this is a nice glute exercise bringing it across the body and then wide into the side there but it also stretches your back and your hip because what I'm allowing you to do here is to bend and twist so this is not one of those exercises where you have to keep your body really nice and still it's an exercise to allow and encourage this bending and twisting. But there's a certain amount of staying strong with it. Lovely, bring that leg down. It might be the leg that you were weight bearing through or the one you were moving that you felt more in the hip. But uh, either is good, both is good. <laughs> stretch the other leg out, lock through the knee and come across and then to the side. See how far you can get it. It might be the furniture that holds you back. <laughs> Lovely. 
Now I want to do a nice free exercise with the hand and the leg. So these are called bird dogs, but I want to stretch all the way out and come all the way in. And again, we're allowing that back to stretch this time. When we go this way, I don't want an arch in the back. I want it nice and flat. But when we come here, I want you to allow to flex it. So there and in. You're stretching as far forwards and as far back with that hand and foot. And then you try to touch the elbow and the knee together. Eight. Lovely. Always paying attention to the weight-bearing arm. That's the one that's giving you the stability from the floor and the leg, of course. Other arm and leg stretch forwards and back. Make sure you've got a bit of control through your tummy and off we go again. Wonderful. Sit back onto your heels and push forwards through your arms. Breathe in, breathe out and allow yourself to sink down. Good. Coming forwards and dropping the hips. And again. Breathe in, breathe out and allow the hips to sink down. Good work. Coming back onto your hands and knees again. Good. And I just want us to drop and lift through those shoulders, feeling that stretch and stability and movement through those shoulder blades with the elbows nice and straight. And then one set of 10 press-ups of your choice. Box press-ups mean that you just bend at the hip and your chest goes down to the floor. Half press-ups will mean that you're back here a little bit, draw in the tummy and you keep the hip angle the same. I'm gonna do the box press-ups. Okay, so your hands underneath your shoulders and off we go. Trying to get as low as you can on each one, keeping strong through your tummy. Choose whichever one you can control the best. Wonderful. Coming down onto the floor, onto your front. Arms down by your side, chin tucked. Forehead propped on the mat. Nose tucked in somehow. <laughs> Good. Squeeze and tuck your bottom under. Pull the shoulders down away from your ears. Feet are firmly on the floor as well. Lift up your hands and I just want a nice small little pulse up and down. I want you to be constantly thinking about those shoulder blades. Shoulder blades drawing together, providing that stable base to work from for the arms to then be able to move up and down. Let's turn the palms to face down and continue pulsing. You will be getting that working feeling around the shoulder blades, working hard feeling. I'd like you to bring your right arm behind your back there. And then the left arm is lifting. And so it's just your left going up and down. I want you to see if you can draw on some strength through the rest of the body to stop the body rocking around as you just do one arm up and down. Swap sides and the other arm up and down. You can feel how just doing one side just makes you rock and roll a little bit around. 
bring your hands behind your head there and I want us to lift the shoulders and so lift the elbows and down lift the elbows and down with the hands behind your head three keep strong through the rest of the body four five six seven Now bring those hands underneath your forehead, cross them over, make a little pillow for your forehead at the front. Tucking the bottom under, I want us to bend that right knee with a pointed toe, bring it all the way down to the floor, bend the knee again with a flexed foot, down, point again, and down, and then we're going to do the left. Point, down, flex, down, point, down, brilliant, continue. Point, flex, point and down. Good. Point and down, continue. Very purposeful. This is a really simple exercise if you like. You're having to control obviously around the ankle what that's doing. And it's not a taxing exercise on the body. So make it as purposeful as you can. One more each side. Flex. Point. Good. Lovely. Let's turn onto our sides and get our glutes done. Slightly different routine. Just to shake things up a little bit. <laughs> Ribs back, hips back, scoop and tuck under, tuck your bottom under. Push the top hip away. So you should feel a bit of contact underneath the rib cage there, underneath the bottom hip, but that middle section there should not be in contact with the floor. Good. Let's lift and hold. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, come down again, lift again. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, come down. Last one of these. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lovely. Feet up, same again. Lift up that top knee, hold strong, hold strong through your tummy. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Always make those little adjustments if you don't feel quite right. Lift up again. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 4, 3, 2, 1. Come down, little rest, mini rest. And lift up again. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two, one. Brilliant. Bring that bottom leg down. Top leg, we've got it in front, and we're going to kick it out away from us. Squeeze through the flap, through the thigh. Four, three, two, one. Pull in and push back out again. Five, four, three, two, one, pushing out all the time. And again, last one, five, four, three, two, one. And then I just want a circle of the ankle at the end while holding it there. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Brilliant, bring that leg in and turn over onto the other side. Good work. Bottom hip back, ribs back, scoop in. Good. Lifting up the knee. Ten. Off. Let's just go back to our positioning. I was quite strict on it the first time, wasn't I? Make sure that top rib, bottom rib is tucked back, hips tucked back. The only thing you're weight bearing on is the ribs here and the hip. Push this knee away and then lift. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Five. 
two, one, come back down again, and go again, ten, again. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Bring the feet up, drawing in the tummy, pick up again. through that thigh. Five, four, three, two, one. Pull in and then push away, drive it away towards that wall. Four, three, two, one. Drawing in and again, push away. Five, four, three, two, one. Ten circles of the foot. down. All right, we're turning onto our back finally. Great. So, tucking through the chin, broadening out through the chest, pulling the backs of the shoulders down towards the floor. Pull your shoulders down away from the ears, engaging through those shoulder blades that we've worked on already quite a lot today. Your feet are hip width apart, toes are pointing forwards, drawing in through that lower tummy, and we're going to stay on the same leg to do those three initial exercises. Lift up, down, sideways, and then push away. And then we swap legs up, out, away. Good. Focusing on, on the weight bearing leg, the one that's got the floor. Side and away. Good, keep going. Up, side and away. Lovely. Up, side and away. Good. Nice deep breath in. Keep going. Quite enjoying these. <laughs> Let's do two more each side now. Brilliant. Bring your heels close in towards your bottom, arms straight up in front of you, tucking under, flattening your back, pushing your knees away, stretch your arms up above your head and curl back down again. Lovely. And again, tucking under, curling up, push your knees away and come back. Good, go again. Scooping, tucking under, push your knees away. Couple more. Last one. Great. Bring your hands down onto your ribs. Tuck the chin. Find that little arch in the back. Draw in through your tummy. Pick up the right leg, scoop in, pick up the left, right down, left down. Have this area as still as you can. 
have an inward feeling, an inward um, strength, drawing in to maintain that strength as you pick up both legs up from the floor. Good, chest open, chin tuck, shoulders down away from your ears. Lovely, let's go with the other leg first. This is all really good abdominal work. It's not quite so obvious as the abdominal work that you do when you think about normal gym abdominal work. Brilliant. Okay, we're going to go for some full sit-ups though. What I want you to do is stretch up straight above the head, coming over slowly with the arms. When they meet the knees, you start to tuck your chin, curl up, peeling up, peeling up, peeling up. Let the feet wander forwards a little bit, stretch away. And then as you come down, you're trying to push that lower back down, down, down into the floor. These are hard, so go easy on yourself. If you're struggling, curling up, curling up, you get to a sticking point. Feel free to just have an extra little push to get yourself there. Good. And as you go on, you'll be able to smooth off that sticking point a little bit. Good. So you're coming up, head lifts, push, 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 and curl up. Good. Let's try and do two more. Stretch up and away with the arms, push the arms forward to that wall, a little push to get, your pelt, get yourself past the sticking point. Curl down. One more, nice breath in, breathe out, squeeze. Lovely, and come back down. Good stuff. All right, tucking through the chin, broadening out at the front. Nice deep breath in, breath out, sink through the ribs, position the pelvis and the lower back so you've got that little arch, tighten through your pelvic floor, lift up the legs to tabletop. We're going to tap the right, tap the left, come out sideways with the right, sideways with the left, push away, right, push away, left. And we'll go through that 10 times, that was number one. Off we go, tap, tap. Two. Off we go again. Three. Four. Try and keep that breathing relaxed. With a nice deep breath every so often if you feel you need it. Halfway through. Number seven. Bring your knees in. Roll from side to side. Feel that little stretch around the lower back. Good stuff. Bring both feet down to the floor. Hands behind your head and elbows wide. And we're rolling over to the side. Try to keep those elbows down. Good. Roll over to the other side. Make sure you're picking up the hip and the foot. Brilliant. Let 
Let's place the left leg down on the floor, hold on behind the right. And I want us to stretch up, to stretch the hamstring and come back down. Good. And again, push up and stretch and down. These are nice dynamic stretches of that hamstring. Just one more. Lovely, place the foot down, hold on around the other leg, and up we go again. One. Lovely, coming up, using that leg to come up, as you can see there, holding on behind it. Coming around, cross the legs. Let's stretch straight up and come forward. Again, a nice dynamic stretch, stretching straight up and come forward. Five. Lovely. Bring the hands either side of you. Stretch across and round. Use the hand on the floor to push down into the floor to stretch around. That's your base to work from. So if you plant that hand, push down into it to allow the other one to come round nice and strong. Last one to the right, and then last one to the left. Great. Coming around, bring your right foot forwards, left leg back. Keep that back knee on the floor for now and, and um, have the back of your foot, the top of your foot laying down on the floor. You don't have to have it tucked under. With that right arm, stretch up, and then down with the elbow. Between the hand and the foot, the elbow goes. Stretch up and out. Down. Three. Five. Good. Swap sides. Good. Drop your hip down. Stretch up. One. Two, three, five. Brilliant. Good. Hands and knees, little quick stretch to arch the back and then push it up and away. One, two. Good, turning under through the toes, pushing your bottom up. Good, push one heel down and embrace that stretch through the back of that leg, calf and the back of the leg. Breathe in, breathe out and sink down into it. Good, push the other heel down. Again, breathe in, breathe out, and sink down into it. Great. Make sure you separate your toes a little bit before you, or separate your feet, before you bring your hands in. And hang there. Just walk your feet to the edges of the outside of the mat. Feel the difference there with a slightly wider stance. It just feels a little bit easier. And curl your way up, control it, draw in through the tummy, stack the vertebrae one on top of the other as you come back up and come to face me again, just a few shoulder rolls to finish off. 
and embrace that feeling of being all opened out and stretched and ready to go for the rest of the day and into the weekend.